Hey there, <coughs> welcome back to the big board. Thanks for checking in. Looking at combat from Compass Games and just getting started, literally on the second impulse, having uh, a lot of fun. It's going a little slow because I'm, I'm kind of clipping as we go here. So we'll, we'll see how, <laughs> how that all works out. Lots of little counters and stuff going on. Gorgeous maps. Big one inch character counters, so oh, I don't want to spoil it for myself and show uh, what that is, but here, you know, you've got these these dudes here. Uh, and uh, and I'm just, you know, just feeling my way through this, and I think this is going to be very, very interesting as a solo game that gives you, I mean, my biggest beef with most solo games is there's very little decision making that's allowed for. Uh, the actual player, sometimes you feel like you're the AI just moving stuff around and you kind of got to generate a reason in your little creative mind as to why. But here we've got <coughs> two teams, a blue team and a red team, and they have their uh, specific orders that are generated kind of on the fly to, uh, to, uh, to do what they need to do, right? And, uh, and so far, it's making some level of sense from a tactical standpoint to see, uh, to see what's going on. So based on where, where the blue team set up, they're in the rocks over here. So all these guys are in uh, cover. And so when we pull a card for them, and I'm going to pick up one of the cards here. We pull a card for them. Uh, they're in cover and they're normal in, their, in terms of their mode. So they're going to go aim fire, right? And if they, if, if they were in the open, they would look to evade, which is what this guy was doing. He was in the open here, and now uh, he's evading. So he was, he's, uh, I forget which direction. Maybe he was, yeah, he was here and he moved. One, two. Uh, he should be moving direction six, so he should actually be here, I think. That's where he should go. So let's just leave that there. That might not be the right guy, the right card for that guy. But nevertheless, that's an example. So this is what the AI is doing. This chap is out in the open, so he's moving to get, he's running and gunning to get into cover. These guys, uh, there's one chap over here, he's sprinting this way. This one is sneaking. This guy's got, underneath him, he's got rapid fire set up, and this one has aimed fire set up. Uh, this fella, uh, he's a little bit of a chicken shit. He's going the wrong way. Uh, so he's, uh, he's off running and gunning that direction, and these two guys are hiding for the time being. Now, so that's all what they're doing, what the Germans are doing, and what the Allies are doing. Their mission is to touch some of these hexes here and pick up some VPs, capture an NCO if they can, capture a soldier if they can, kill bad guys. And you can you choose your, your orders for them. What do you want them to do? And we're now moving those troops forward. So we're, we're looking to, you know, uh, close in on these locations and potentially pick up some, uh, some shots at the bad guys and kind of go from there. And the, and the way that all pans out in a single turn, and this is a seven turn scenario, from what I gather, right? so we're fresh meat at this. There are four impulses, which, uh, map nicely to the counters, right, that have four impulses across the bottom. So this is a suppressive fire uh, uh, order that the Germans might receive. And they're going to fire each impulse if they have an opportunity to do so, if they have someone in their line of sight or they, they spot someone or whatever the case may be. Same would go for, let's see, <clears throat> sneaking. Obviously, when you're sneaking, you're not trying to make as much noise or be as visible so you only move every other activation and one thing i didn't or impulse and what i didn't realize is these now i know why there's so many of these order counters because it's got the directions on here and so what you can do is grab instead of keeping track of the cards and having to flick through the cards and here it says uh, this is the direction that the guys are going to move in right you can grab the order and have the right number and then you've got it on the counter. You don't need to refer to the German card again and you can just put it in a discard pile. I didn't realize that, so we were 
flipping backwards and forwards through cards. I was trying to remember which, which was what, and we managed to get most of that correct. And then I realized that there were these numbers here, and that's what tells you that you can, uh, that what direction you need to go. So there is a little bit of fiddling around, finding the right, you know, for instance, these are all the run and gun markers here. So I've got to go through these and I want, oh, I want a one, two, I want a one, uh, I want a direction five, uh, whatever the case may be here, I want a six, five, all that sort of stuff. So you've got to, you got to kind of dicker around a little bit with that, but I, I get it. And uh, maybe if my memory was better, I would just memorize all that for each impulse, but you know, it's all good. So second impulse so then so when then what happens is there's an initiative order so who moves and when do they move makes a big difference so we we determine initiative via uh once again via card draw so you you might have cards in your hand as the allied player and you've got these initiative numbers for your teams abel is six baker's 34 charlie is 44 and you decide which one you want to play based on the teams that you have and based on whether you want to go first or last. If you think you can place a, a you'll end up with that choice, right? Because the German is just going to flip a card and go, okay, uh, I'm at 67 for my initiative. So they're clearly going to go last because the lowest goes first. So in that case, out of those numbers we saw, this German team would go last. So that's it, and then now we haven't shown anything yet. We haven't got the shooty bits, so I uh, will check in a little bit, and we'll see what happens from there. But I like the fact that uh, I've got my, I've got my men down here. I've got them split up into two teams. We're we're making approaches in two two directions. It's only a seven turn scenario, so sort of the pressure's on to get into contact, find out what's going on. You're on a patrol. You've got a seven turn patrol which is arguably, you know, if it's a 90 second turn, <laughs> right? We're out here for 10 to 15 minutes. Each one of these counters is an individual chap. So we're really dealing with, uh, what, six men. So that's two, basically two uh, fire teams, if you wanted to call it that. I know that's not the correct World War II terminology, but bear with me. Uh, and then they're opposed to them. I think we've got four, five, six. So we've got 11 Germans uh, scattered around there. But some of those are dummies. And some of them will also enter the map via random draw on the right-hand side of the map as well on turn four. So there's quite a bit going on. And uh, it's pretty interesting to see. I'm very keen to see how the uh, combat works out. The rules are pretty straightforward. I had read them once and thought, okay, yeah, this I, I kind of get this. Basically, we're flipping a card, putting an order down, and then running through the impulses, and then, uh, then resolving any actions that occur based on line of sight interrupts and stuff like that, right? So that's basically the game. But what I found was uh, that there's just some clarity the clarity bits would have been nice i would have liked a separate uh, sequence of play just to have it you know on a chart so i made my uh, just cut and pasted the from the pdf uh, i printed out the terrain that's inside the rule book uh, from the pdf so i can just see it so i know what's half cover what's full cover or whatever the case may be what's blocking what's open what's covered uh, that would have been nice to have that on a chart uh, they do have uh, a couple of charts here for other stuff, for spotting, and uh, I believe for orders for uh, modifications to the weapons that are being fired and all that sort of good stuff. So lots more to it than what I've just shared with you, and we'll talk more about combat and all that sort of fun stuff once we get to it. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. All the best. Go roll some dice.